On January 18, 2019, in Washington, D.C., the very first Indigenous Peoples March was scheduled at the same time as the 47th annual March for Life. Students from Kentucky's all-boy Covington Catholic High School were instructed to meet on the stairs of the Lincoln Memorial to await their bus home. Many of the boys were wearing Make America Great Again hats, which were acceptable attire for the pro-life event they had just attended. A few yards away were five black men who identified as Hebrew Israelites. This known hate group was already preaching racial slurs at indigenous marchers. You're not supposed to worship eagles, buffaloes, That's rams, right, right. all types of animals. That's right. This is the reason why the Lord took away your land. Indian meat savage. You know where that name came from? You know where that name came from? It came from the so-called white man. Indian means savage, brother. I don't know where you got that from. Look it up, brother. I did look it up. I'm a historian. you find it out for yourself. This is the problem, Israel. It's always our women thinking they can come and distract things with their loud ass mouth because they're not used to dealing with no real men. You nigga. You nigga. Get your old Uncle Tom ass out of here. That's the reason. Uncle Tomahawk. That's right. That's Uncle Tom's. Your Uncle Tomahawk! That's right! Got your head up the white man's ass! Curious, a few of the Covington students moved closer to hear what the Israelites were saying. Bring y'all crack ass up here and make a, and, and make a statement. Tell them come over here in the lion's den. You little dirty ass crackers, your day coming. Without incident, the boys returned to their group, which was expanding as more students arrived at their meeting spot. The Israelites did not stop. On the back of your dollar bill, it says, In God we trust! But you give fans rights. Oh. The Bible condemns homosexuality, man. They're still so humans. This is a bunch of future school shooters. How are you gonna tell somebody you're gonna shoot up a school? That's like really rude. That's hey, racist, North bro. American, when you get old enough, they're they gonna steal like, your organs. Whoa, hey. Why you being mean? Hey, 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 we love you, kid. Hey, we love you. He said he's a product of sodomy and he's proud. It's not rape if you enjoy it. See that? Uh, he does not get a cup of tea. Donald Trump incest children. Are the buses here yet? Where are the buses? After nearly an hour of enduring the verbal attack, the boys asked their chaperone if they could perform one of their pep rally chants to drown out the hate group. The chant attracted the attention of a group of Native Americans led by veteran activist Nathan Phillips. Though Mr. Phillips later claimed he was trying to get to the Lincoln Monument, he bypassed the most direct and unobstructed pathway and went straight to where the Covington boys were standing. Look at the hats! Look at our Make America Great Again hat! They began to celebrate by chanting and dancing to the beat. Is it possible that the boys saw the Native Americans as allies, stepping in to help drown out the Israelites? There was a group of over 200 young, angry white men, and they were facing down just four black individuals. And it was coming to a point where a snap of the finger could have caused them kids to descend on those four individuals. What the hell is going on here? Now this is a peace circle? Ain't gonna be no peace until blood is shed. Why are you being mean? When I went in front of that mob and what appeared to be their prey, all that hate and anger transferred to me. And the images were the same images that I seen on the folks that were doing the lynchings and the scorns and the scowls that they were on the pictures there. That's what these young people's faces looked like. It was, it was scary. It was this moment that many feel the boys crossed the line and began mocking the Native Americans by doing a move known to sports fans as the tomahawk chop. Mr. Phillips began moving to his right, down a line of boys, eventually stopping face to face with Nick Sandman. The young man remained where he had already been standing, placing his undivided attention on Mr. Phillips, who never once tried to move beyond him. It's worth noting that Nick Sandman was standing on a higher stair, making his small size appear much larger than he actually is. 
We are hearing from a Native American elder and Vietnam War veteran speaking to CNN after a disturbing viral video shows a group of teens harassing and mocking him in the nation's capital. The Native elder was identified as Nathan Phillips, a member of the Omaha Nation and a Vietnam vet. Phillips describes the tense moments now being replayed over and over again online when a young man got right in his face. Watch. That was when they surrounded us and that's when I realized the dangerous situation I was in and I couldn't go left I couldn't go right we couldn't go back without running into this mob when that young man blocked my retreat he put himself in front of me so I stopped and I thought okay I'm gonna take another step but he wouldn't move I took another step he wouldn't move you feel you were blocked oh I was blocked you mentioned that the youth uh, kept chanting, uh, build the wall. Now, this is astounding, given the fact that you are Native American, and yet they're chanting, build the wall. It makes little sense to angrily chant, build the wall, to a population with literally zero illegal immigrants who were here long before we were. After watching every video posted from that day, from every possible angle, I've yet to see or hear one Covington kid utter those words. I did, however, find a clip of the Israelites saying this. Well, look at these dirty ass crackers. Can't stand in the damn sun for five minutes. Why you don't build the damn wall? So if you want to make America great, because for you white people, go back to Europe where you came from. This is not your own land. As one of the native men began to debate with one of the students, keep your eyes on Nick Sandman. This is a critical moment that was omitted from the mainstream narrative. Get the f out of my face with that shit. Hey, it's not, it's not bullshit. It's proven, man, come on. It's it's not, it's it's it appears as though Nick is trying to hush his schoolmate to show more respect to Mr. Phillips. And that was that. Their bus arrived and the students went on their way. Mr. Phillips did not advance up the stairs, but instead turned towards his people and celebrated their victory. We won, Grandpa! We fucking won, Grandpa! Woo! There has been some question about the nature of your military service, and this is a good chance to clear it up. Some have said that you were a Vietnam veteran. I don't believe you have said that. What exactly is the nature of your service? <clears throat> what I've always said is I've never stepped foot in South Vietnam. I'm a Vietnam vet, and I served in Marine Corps 72 to 76. Um, I don't talk much about my Vietnam times. When I come home, those times, I got spit on, actually spit on, called a baby killer. Little blonde hair, blue eyed hippie girl come walking up to me one night and just spit on me, you know, called me a baby killer. I feel bad because I beat up her boyfriend. I really do feel bad about that, you know. <laughs> She hurt my feelings. <laughs> so to be clear, you did not serve overseas. I don't know how clear, how much clear can that be? At one point early on, it was rumored that they were chanting build the wall, but no one has surfaced any evidence of that whatsoever. Well, that's what I heard from the Native American elder when he was talking about it in a, in a video. He said, I heard them saying, build that wall, build that wall. It isn't audible on the video clips, I think, that are out there, but did you hear that? I did hear that. You can hear him saying, build that wall. People that are supposed to be adults were saying things like, this is the face of white patriarchy, the 16-year-old kid. Or what Reza this, Aslan said. Yeah, or this Reza is, Aslan said, have you ever seen a more, more punchable yeah. face? Kathy Griffin was saying, I need names, shame him, dox him. How do these people not understand the implications of that? I blame that f***ing kid. What a little <laughs> Smirk face. The center of the firestorm, what critics characterize as a smirk on Sandman's face. People have judged me based off one expression. I see it as a smile saying that 
you won't get any further reaction of aggression. As for those red Make America Great Again hats that some students were wearing, Sandman says he bought his that day from a street vendor in Washington. Do you think if you weren't wearing that hat, this might not have happened or it might have been different? That's possible, but I would have to assume what Mr. Phillips was thinking, and I'd rather let him speak for why he came up to us. Phillips said he believed he had to do something to protect the black Israelites group from the boys. You could hear the Hebrew Israelites shouting things. And the white people were shouting racist things back at the black Hebrews. Phillips couldn't be specific about what the boys shouted. And so far, no video evidence has emerged supporting his claims. What broke this up is someone calling to the students saying their bus was there. That's what pulled them away. In my mind, well, yes, they could say they're running to the bus. But if you look at it from another angle, they're running from the police. Inserting the first of a few desperate pieces of new evidence that Covington students paint themselves not in a multicolored gesture of school spirit, but because they want to mock opponent black players, color washes are a theme of Covington school spirit. The Covington teens harassed a woman and called her a slut, and what we're directed to is an eight second video clip with Never mind that the poster of it engages in the same type of hateful language we're trying to crucify other people for. Doesn't matter, 70,000 plus retweets. We are here in peaceful gathering to have Uncle Ney read demands of the indigenous folks of this land to the Catholic Church as a whole entire organization. We demand that the students of Covington Catholic High School be reprimanded not just by the school officials, not seniors, but by their upcoming universities. Fox News' Dave Spencer has more on the alleged incident that's now leading to a protest. It was a walk he took at noon on a Saturday in mid-April. He says he walked over to the fence and saw roughly 30 to 40 students involved in a theme party. Painted and had their face painted. And I said, what the heck's going on here? Oh, we're honoring you. I said, well, that wasn't, you know, honoring. That was racist. And then at that time, that's when... It really got ugly. Phillips says he was then bombarded with racial slurs. One, he says, even through a beer can. If I would have stayed right where it's at, it would have hit me in the head, but I backed up and hit me in the chest. And He'd had enough at this point and says he called police. Whoever would sit judgment on them, the university, the law, you know, society, you know, that's, that's their job. You know, I'll, I'll pray for them. In a statement late today, Ypsilanti police said there is no indication that the party goers maliciously intended to harass him because of his heritage. And then it becomes this thing of like, oh, these kids, they harass this man and this, you know, this is this horrible story. And then you see, you see the, the, the additional videos come out and I go, if I was the news, I'm like, well, you guys, surely you guys could have just searched on social media before reporting the story. Just a simple search, just search, you would have found it all. Is it that we just instantly say that's what it is based on what we see in that moment and then have to walk stuff back when it turns out we're wrong why is that why is do we keep making the same mistake because we because we're desperate to get trump out of office <laughs> that's why i want god to come witness what's happening into my america 